Okay, what did you say your name is? Michelle Hart Jarris. Maybe I'll swing around you over here, we'll get a little better lighting. Okay. M Michelle Hart Jarris? Right. Okay, and did you want to tell me a little bit about uh, your family's uh, history there in the Pollock Corners area, or did you say you saw, thought of something else, a little of each? Um, I'll try and remember correctly. I'll okay, <laughs> alrighty. So the uh, halls, let's see, the halls and the Thirtels, I think, homesteaded about the same time. I think I've looked up the documents in there, about 1860s. And Ulysses S. Grant signed both their homestead papers. Um, around Pollock Corners, I think they both had, I think, I think, I think they both had about 120 acres. And around that lake, Pollock Lake used to be Thurtell Lake. Um, the Halls moved from, I think he used to live in New York. His doctors told him that for his health he needed to change to a different climate out of the city. So he came here. Thurtell's I think came down from Canada. I'm not sure. um, and they live next to each other in their different homestead lots. Uh, the Halls had four boys and they always wanted a girl. And because of his connections with New York and then some businessmen in Detroit, they found that there was a little girl that needed to be adopted, a baby. And so they loaded up the sleigh. And we have this written in John Hall's. Um, handwriting, the story's written out. They loaded up the sleigh and went down to Detroit and adopted the baby girl and brought her home. So, in the middle of winter. <laughs> so, and they did the sleigh the whole way. That's pretty amazing to think of. So that's why I remember that story. Um, then there was, um, so that's the Thurtels in the halls, and then Agnes Hall, the girl that was adopted, was married to Walter Thurtell. And then some of them moved into Traverse City and back here to, I don't, I don't know details there. And then um, there was an Uncle Ben of mine, or a great Uncle Ben, and that would be Ben Thurtell. He married Constance Carnes, Carnes Road, that there's a farm, a chicken farm there and all. So those are, oh, and then the Jarrises from Traverse City had some place on Lake Leelanau, South Lake Leelanau. There was a group of businessmen from Traverse City, a group of 12 or something like that, that had a place they would go to Perrin's Landing and then take a boat up to where their group of cabins were. I think that's about all I know as far as way back. <laughs> so. Okay, and you're at the fair today exhibiting uh, painting. Right. And I have a gallery in Cedar. You have a gallery in Cedar? Right. And that's that's how this came came to be. Your, that's what you're representing, is sort right. of, is your gallery. And may I point at your picture here? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Just and what's the name of your gallery? The Gallery in Cedar. That's the name of it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> we made it easy. Yeah. Okay. And is this what you mostly do, is landscape uh, painting? No, I mostly do water. But I do water. the old barns around and things like that, too. You mean like you turn on the faucet and take a picture of the water coming out? Or? I could try that. <laughs> what what, what water do you normally do? Port Oneidas, beaches, Good Harbors beaches, Lake, Lake Leona, Michigan. Lake Michigan. Yep. Okay, very good. Water. All right. <laughs> good. Well, thank you. Sure.